guys and welcome today i want to talk about the daytime picker control so as you can see there this is the control that allows you to select or to pick a date so we haven't made any customizations and out of the box let's run and see what we get so that is the default background or few color that we get right there and let's see what we have let's run the control and give it a moment to build and let's see what we get right we can select a date and as you can see the date will be updated here we can also choose what year and we can also choose a month and a day and it will be imported right there so the control allows you to pick a date and then the date will be set so let's see some of the customizations that we can make from the control that we have right there so let's wait uh, some few seconds for the controls to for the control to load the properties right let's change the styling right as you can see here we have a couple of properties for example the auto rounded corners we have talked about this property in other controls as well what it simply does is that it takes the width and height of the the length and width sorry of the control and then it computes the radio values for example if you look here the border radius value is zero because this property is set to, to false. But when set to true, it changes. The border radius is 22. Let's set it back to zero. Let's change to the default size and let's set the auto round corners to true. Now it's 17 and to false it's zero. So what does it or just computes the border radius and then it imposes the value for you. But of course we can make some customizations. We can provide five for example and you can see now the border radius is according to the customization that we have imported right now. So let's change this to, to zero. We can also change the border style. We have several styles from dash to custom. We have dot, dash dot and so forth. So right now the border color is black, but we cannot see the black because the thickness is zero. Let's change this to two. Now we can see the border and let's change this from black to a different color. We can choose, for example, blue. Let's find a shade of blue. There it is. Or maybe black was better and we can see clearly the difference. Let's go back to black. There it is. And we can change the style from solid to any other value that we have right there. The dash or the dot dash and so forth. So when the control is checked, we can set the check state. For example, we can change the border radius, we can change the few color and the four color. So let's change the few color to, to black. Let's change the four color to white. Right. When the control is checked. Right now it's checked and you can see. So let's revert back to false. And when it's checked, this styling will be applied. So this is only to allow you to have maximum customization of your control. It allows you to input maximum customization to suit your theme. We can also change the format of the of the date. We have long, short, time, and so forth. And we can change from long, short, time, and so forth. Let's run and see what we get. We have changed the format and let's run and see what we get. So let's give Visual Studio a moment to build and let's see what we get. okay there we have it and <clears throat> we can choose a date and then it will take the time and then the time will be inputted and the time will be inputted as you can see it's even displayed right there so these are some of the customizations that we can apply to the to the control that we have right there but they are not only the customizations we've mentioned let's see some more of the of the customizations this is necessary to make sure that the ui fits your theme and the overall appearance and look and feel of your application we can change the fill color on hover for example and we can also change the the four color on hover as well so these are some of the customizations let's change the check state to to false we can also align the 
text inside which will display the date all the time let's change the format from time to long date now we can see clearly we can set the maximum date and then the minimum date so let's change here to 20 let's change this to 20 between 2030 let's choose 2030 2022 30 sorry so let's go to 2030 right so let's choose 2030 December that one in the minimum date well let's try 2020 or 2022 let's choose 2022 January 1 right let's run the control and see what we get let's give it a moment and see what we'll see from the customizations that we have made right so if we select the the date now we can see that the the control only allows us to select a date from 2022 to 2030 because of the customizations that we have made so you can you can set a particular date or duration and it will allow you to to set that as you can see we don't have 2031 and here we don't have 2021 so it allows you to set a specific date or a time period that you want your users to select so this is useful than to write the maximum date and then up to the 900 something and the and the minimum to one which uh, may be very confusing if you want to put a short date span or a short date duration between one date and the other date you can just streamline and and give your users an option to choose from a particular date to a certain date that way they can easily pick the date within the range that you have selected so it allows you to put a custom range all right so what else do we have as you can see here down there we can also show the checkbox or we can hide the checkbox we have also talked about text alignment and offset which is basically uh, aligning text in the x and y axes so we have talked more about this in other controls and this is identical here we can uh, see here from the shadow decoration and also the hover state right so these are some of the properties that we have there please I, I encourage you to, to to try to use this control especially when picking a date instead of putting a text box and allow your users to tap the date they can make a mistake this is the best let's come here and uh, look at this property value so this property value you can get the value of the provided date from your user by capturing the value for example if you come here and then you write the name of the control dot value now you can see here that it allows you to get or to set the value so you cannot get the value of the date time picker control is provided by the user or your users so please try to use this control and you can see it will save you a lot of time and you can make this custom theming really to suit your application needs so thank you guys for watching and i'll see you when we cover other controls i wish you a good day